Hi, book lovers. Today we're going to read A Fish Out of Water. If you have the book, why don't you go grab it out so we can read along together? A Fish Out of Water by Helen Palmer, illustrated by P.D. Eastman. This little fish, I said to Mr. Carp, I want him. I like him, and he likes me. I will call him Otto. Very well, said Mr. Carp. Now I will tell you how to feed him. Then Mr. Carp told me, When you feed a fish, never feed him a lot. So much and no more. Never more than a spot, or something may happen. You never know what. Then I took Otto home. I gave him some food. I did not give him much, just one little spot. But this did not make Otto happy. He wanted more food. He had to have more. Poor Otto. He just had to have more. I knew what Mr. Carp had told me. Never feed him a lot. Never more than a spot. Or something may happen. You never know what. But I gave Otto all the food in the box. Then something did happen. My little Otto began to grow. I saw him grow. I saw him grow and grow. Soon he was too big for his little fishbowl. There was just one thing to do. I put Otto into the flower bowl. There, Otto, I said, this will hold you. But no, the flower bowl did not hold him. Otto went right on growing. This was not funny. Not funny at all. His tail was growing right out the top. I grabbed the flower bowl. I ran with it. Otto, I said, I know just where to put you. Then you will be all right. I put him into a big pot, but Otto was not all right. I saw him grow some more. Very soon he was too big for the pot. I put him in pot after pot. He was growing so fast. Poor Otto, my poor little fish. Oh, why did I feed him so much? Otto, I said, stop growing, please. But Otto could not stop growing. He was growing all the time. Very soon I ran out of pots. Otto had to have water. There was just one thing to do. I did it. I grabbed him. I grabbed him by the tail. I ran with him up to the tub. The tub is big. It can hold lots of water. At last. There, Otto, I said. This tub holds my father. This tub holds my mother. So it will hold you. But the tub did not hold him at all. He went right on growing. Oh, Otto, I said, what can I do now? Then, crash, the door went down. Crash, Otto went down. I went down too. Oh, what a ride. Down went the water into the cellar. And down went Otto, too. I had to do something fast. I grabbed the phone. I called a policeman. Help, help, I said. I fed my fish too much. Mr. Carp told me not to, but I did. What? said the policeman. Mr. Carp told you not to, but you did? Too bad. I will come at once. The policeman came. My fish went that way, I said. He is down in the cellar. The policeman ran down with me. What a fish, he said. He is much too big to keep in a cellar. We will have to get him out. We had to work and work to get Otto out. Poor Otto. Oh, why did I feed him so much? Mr. Carp told me something would happen, and it did. It did. Now we had Otto out of the cellar, but now Otto had no water, no water at all. A fish has to have water, I said to the policeman. We must take him to water. Get help. Call for help on the radio. The policeman called on the radio. He called for the fireman. Help, help. 
he said. A boy has fed a fish too much. A boy has fed a fish too much. We will come at once. The firemen came. They all helped to get Otto up. But where can we take him? I asked. Uptown? Downtown? To the pool, yelled the firemen. To the pool, I yelled. And please, hurry! They did hurry. The fire truck with Otto came right up to the pool. The firemen yelled, Everyone get out of the pool. This fish is going in. Down into the pool went Otto, into the pool with a big, big splash. Now I was happy. Now at last my Otto had water, lots of water. This big pool was just the thing. This big pool would hold him. But Otto went right on growing, and no one wanted Otto in the pool. They did not like Otto at all. You take that fish out of here, they yelled. There was just one thing to do. I did it. I ran to the phone. I called Mr. Carp. Please, please help me, I said. I fed Otto too much. Oh dear, said Mr. Carp. So you fed him too much. I knew you would. I always say don't, but you boys always do. Yes, I will come. Then Mr. Carp came. He had a black box in his hand. He had a lot of other things too. What are you going to do, Mr. Carp? I asked him. But Mr. Carp said nothing. He just went right up to the pool. He took his black box with him and all the other things too. Splash! Mr. Carp jumped into the pool. Splash! Now Otto went down too. All I could see was his tail. I could not see Mr. Carp at all. What was going on down there? What were they doing down there in the water? Now I could see nothing. Not Otto. Not Mr. Carp. Nothing at all. Would I see my Otto again? Would I see Mr. Carp again? Mr. Carp! Mr. Carp! I yelled. What are you doing? Are you all right? Then up jumped Mr. Carp. In his hand was a little fish bowl. In the bowl was my Otto. Mr. Carp had made him little again. Don't ask me how I did it, he said, but here is your fish. And from now on, said Mr. Carp, please don't feed him too much. Just so much and no more. Now that is what I always do. Now I feed Otto so much and no more. Never more than a spot or something may happen. And now I know what? Wow, that was fun. I loved reading A Fish Out of Water with you. I couldn't believe how big Otto the fish grew, and I was so glad when Mr. Carp was able to get him back to his regular size. I can't wait to read with you again.